Today, I'll be opening up a $45 comic book mystery box from Jimmy Jam's garage sale. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx back in the building, back in effect, and back with another video. And today I will be opening up this $45 comic book mystery box from Jimmy Jam's garage sale. This was $45 shipped, so yeah, Jimmy is the homie. Um, want, wanted to support him and pick up a mystery box, so let's see what we got. I, I don't remember what the um, if there was a GP inside or if, uh, yeah, I don't remember none of that. But, got some, uh, hopefully some good hits in here, some good books. Like I said, $45 ship. Uh, the homies slotted up, 503 opened one up. Uh, Gary B, the casual comic uh, guy, opened one up. And Small Town Collectibles, all on Small Town Collectibles channel. So make sure you go check that out. They did a box battle, which was really, really cool. And I just heard a loud bang. I don't know. Anyway. To continue, this is more important than my house falling apart in the background, opening up this mystery box. So I'm going to crack this open. And the reason I have my jacket on and all that stuff, I was uh, just about to leave. And the uh, mail person rang the bell and handed this to me. And I, I ran back upstairs and I was just like, this is more important than going out to grab uh, some food. So this was box 17. Nice Gemini mailer. We're going to reuse that. Toast that there. So I guess this is the extra book uh, in the package. So what do we got? Perceptions, part three of five. Spider-Man number 10. Some 90s McFarlane goodness. This, uh, the McFarlane Spider-Man is probably my favorite comic run of all time. So I'm super excited to have that. This is, uh, what do we have there? Spider-Man, Wolverine, and the Windigo. This was dope. Uh, it's in a nice plastic here. I guess I gotta be super careful opening this up. I don't want to damage anything. I really wonder what fell. It was like legit like a loud bang. Uh, oh well. All right. Open this side. So they're all face down. Thanks for the pull tabs. I know to open this side because there's a post-it that says open this side. So as always, there's gonna be things in here I don't know. Leave a comment down below, correct me. If there's a book that is like, yeah, then just let me know. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna show you first and then you'll see my reaction. What do we got? DC Rebirth Superman number 29. In blackest day, the brightest night. Beware your fears, my made into light. So that's Superman rocking the green lantern or the yellow lantern stuff. It's pretty cool. I've never read a Superman book in my life. Ooh. Nice. 2099 Unlimited, number one. The premiere of Hulk 2099. So there's a little message on the back that says the first appearance of Hulk 2099, the next century's greatest heroes. So Hulk 2099 and uh, Spider-Man 2099 there. This is pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Uh, what do we got? Next Men, Dark Horse, Next Men number 13. Uh, never heard of this. So I don't know if there's anything special about it. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know. The cover is pretty dope. That guy looks pretty cool. The way he's, um, he has that metallic armory type stuff. Just looks like a more vicious, metallic y, cyborg y gambit. All right, I had saw one here that was face up, but I'm going to close my eyes and put it face down. Uh, next book up. What do we got? The Incredible Hulk 409. 
The Incredible vs. The Indescribable, Marvel's UK's Motormouth and Kill Power. Love The Incredible Hulk. One of my favorite characters ever, if not my favorite character ever. This is pretty cool. I actually don't have this one. I had this back in the day, but I actually don't have this one. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next book up, and this is... What? Wow. Superboy. Jesus Christ. Number 132. And it's a first, first appearance of Supremo. Wow, this is in pretty good shape. <laughs> this is pretty dope. This is, uh, what year did this come out? Did it say there? Some 12 cent goodness, so it has to be old. I'm guessing late 60s. Uh, and it's in fantastic condition. Fantastic in condition. First appearance of Supremo. Next book up. What do we got? Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme. Number one. The one in... It says it right here, so I'm not going to front like I know what I'm talking about. It says it on the back, so thank you, Jimmy, for uh, putting this here. The 1 in 15 design variant. This is pretty cool. Ah, what is that? Oh, I thought it was ink on the thing. It's on the plastic. So Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme, number one, design variant edition. The 1 in 15 design variant. This is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And finally, the last book out of this $45 shipped Jimmy Jam's Garage Sale Comic Book Mystery Box. What do we got? Marvel Legacy She-Hulk. This is, this is pretty cool. Let me see if it says anything on the back, if I can open it. This is this is a dope cover. I just want to see if it says uh, anything else on the back or if it's just going to be an advertisement on the back. Oh, wow. So it's like, um, I'll show you through the plastic if you can see that. It's like all her stats and abilities and things like that. This is pretty cool. I've never seen a, a book like that. I remember back in the day, I used to love when you would get those issues where, whether it was the heroes or the villains, and they would have on every single page their attributes and first appearances, things like that. And then, then the Marvel cards came out and they didn't have to do those anymore. So this is pretty cool. So overall, I'm happy. I definitely think the value is there. So thank you, Jimmy Jam and your garage sale. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked about this Superboy first appearance of Supremo. Uh, love that stuff. Definitely want to give this next man uh, a read and see what's the deal with that. And I'm loving this first appearance of Hulk 2099. So... Yeah, that's going to do it for me. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me, and as always, most importantly, spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. Peace.